been busy, busy, busy. When I tell you I've been busy, just busy um, with life and um, the weeks are just going by like that, girl. We gonna be in summer soon. Hell, it's already summer here in Phoenix. His school, they be doing too much. Like literally every other week. And so I'm glad he's not gonna be going to this dang old school from the summertime. I mean, I understand that we, you know, it's good to be, you know, um, active. But let me know if this is what I'm, I'm to expect. His old school wasn't like this. But this school, every week is something. This week they're going to a, um, actually this week is spirit week. So dress your kid up in neon. Dress your kid up for sports. Dress your kid up backwards. I'm like, what the hell? Going to the zoo tomorrow, which should be interesting. I'm, I have my anxiety pills ready, girl. And then next week is Teacher Appreciation Week, I believe. Again, it's to keep you keep the parents involved, but I shouldn't have to do all this stuff. I'm already homeschooling too a little bit, so Lord have mercy. I um, mean, that's going real good. JB is JB is coming along really well there, but child, he needs to get in an extracurricular activity. I'm trying to hold off until he goes to kindergarten because it's just going to be. I feel like. There's going to be so much he's gone through in the past year. I mean, he still talks about his friends at his old school because we see some of them every now and then. Um, and so he would have been at three schools in one year. I think that's a lot. Yeah, three different schools in one year. That's a lot. Um, like I said, we have all that other stuff going on next week, too. Um, What else? What else? What else? Have y'all noticed some of the changes on YouTube? I've been seeing quite a few. Besides the, I feel like a lot of people are jumping on the bandwagon when it comes to content. And we've, y'all have heard me talk about this before, so I'm really not going to go down that rabbit hole right now. However, I'm a little upset that a couple of people are actually leaving. Uh, African Hair God posted last week that he would no longer be doing hair related videos and I absolutely love his videos because he's one of the few people who know what the hell they're talking about and he's a stylist so he has hands on experience you know what I mean you don't find too many people on here who are stylists that do natural hair videos there's Mono's hair there's um, deeper than deeper than hair is that her name there's a few that I like in can stomach and he was one of them. So, um, I was on Facebook earlier this morning looking at some groups that I'm in and y'all people, women complain, just people in general complain about the same thing about Phoenix. It is really hard to connect with other people out here and I've been here for 12 years. So I think I can talk on it. You know, it's hard to connect with people and it's hard to stay connected. Um, and ironically, the people who I've gotten close to are from the South. So maybe that's a cultural thing, a regional thing. I'm not sure. But I just think about the times I've gone back to Dallas and I immediately start talking to people, maybe because I feel more at home. But these people are actually coming up to me most of the time. So uh, it's just hard. You know, I tried to get in contact or meet up with a girlfriend. I have not seen her in three years. And we used to work together too. And after a while, when you know when you try to reach out to someone, you just give up. So I'm just like, okay, I'm, I've reached out to you now two or three times. And at this point, I'm just gonna stop and so. <coughs> <coughs> Boo boo. Not in the middle of the road, on this side right here. Uh, JB is like, uh, I'm not going there, nothing. That's making all that noise. I think this is a peacock. It's very beautiful. He's enjoying it, though. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> he will literally do this for about 15 minutes and avoid the water. Baby, you have to get wet. There you go. I hope I have enough for Paula. They don't. But anyway, I assume you spend a lot of time in Hollywood. I do, but I grew up here, so I'm here to do my thing. I got, got I got a phone. He found my uh, best friend loves charger, and then somehow remembered that an iPhone, my old iPhone, was up there. It took me all morning to figure out how to. Y'all, this is like an iPhone three or four. Not even that. This is like an iPhone negative two. Negative two. It's from 2013. And, and you know what the password is? Hold on. No, don't tell them the password. <laughs> Not that it matters. They y'all, they can't. Why would you? No, don't tell them the password. Y'all saw clips from the zoo. Look, we were so tired coming back. Look at my hair, y'all. This is a wash and Joe from the main wash and Joe. Wash and go from the main. I choice. can't turn this off. Just hit the button down there. There you go, and, and it'll go it off. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I think I used too much of the gel, which is why it's flaking in the front. It looked cute yesterday. I really didn't get on camera yesterday, but it looked cute yesterday. How do you turn it off? It'll turn off by itself, baby. It'll go to sleep. Anyway. You guys it is saturday and um okay jb yes great i'm getting so frustrated you guys when it comes to my car my y'all yeah, know my husband hit my car like two months ago of course he immediately gets his car fixed but due to kelly services or whoever the auto place say you may want to go through a dent place now he's like maybe you need to call a few dent places and see how much it costs i'm like oh so you could just go and get your car fixed with the insurance, but since it may be cheaper for me, I'm like, why didn't you do? And granted, my car has the most physical, I should say, visible damage than his. So I'm so over it, y'all. So I told him, I said, I have a lot going on. The next two weeks, I have a lot in between JB's. All he's having like a little kindergarten graduate, or not kindergarten, preschool graduation. All this stuff y'all heard me talk about. There's a lot every week leading up into my, up to my, I should say, um, surgery. I said I'm not gonna be able to do anything until July, cause it's that's probably a bit stretched. So I may have to call around a few places next week, but I don't want to deal with that. And I told him that I said, you know, what? I don't want to deal with that. How about you just dish up the $500? For the deductible and we call it a day he got quiet girl but no I, i'm just talking y'all i talk a lot so ready to go to chuck e cheese well, let me show you something i just saved my husband some money i went online to look up some dent repair places and i came across a couple of blogs that showed how to get dents out of cars now i need to work on these other two but i was able to use the pl a plunger is it a plunger isn't that crazy to get this huge dent this was the huge one out and then the dent up there i mean it's it took me a little bit of elbow grease and i think oh, i'm gonna have to do a little bit more but that's gonna save money those dents are those dents over here? No. back 
from Chuck E. Cheese's. You know what's so funny? While we were there, I kind of, I think I cut that footage out. I was speaking earlier when I was laying on my bed. I was talking about how one of my friends who I used to work with, she's moving out of state. Her and her family are moving to to Michigan. Um, her oldest daughter is on the spectrum. She has autism. I think she's like eight years old now. Um, and apparently Michigan has some of the best schools, programs in regards to autism. Phoenix education system is horrible. We are up there with, I hate to say this, with like states like Kentucky and Alabama. Like the public school systems are horrible. Not only that, but there has been an increase of, oh, and this just, just really bothers me. This is why I'm trying to convince my husband to get the hell out of here. There has been an increase in racial issues and racial bullying towards african-american students in the schools here anyway to say all this is that i'm so glad i ran into my friend at chucky e. cheeses because she's having to give a get get together um going away for her family but it's like may 4th which is a, the day before single de mayo and all these people out here love to celebrate single de mayo even though they don't like mexicans i'm just being real um <laughs> and it's on a Friday at 6 30 and an oyster place and I don't eat I'm actually allergic to all that stuff so anyway I'm so glad I ran into her well it's so funny she tapped me on, on my shoulder and I turned around I hadn't seen her in like four years and I'm looking at her I didn't recognize her one her face is always beat to God one but two she's lost a lot of weight I think that was really it she's lost a lot of weight um at least 40 pounds so got to see her which was good and we were chit chatting and I was telling her I said I'm gonna tell my husband that I my girlfriend is moving out of state for the future of her child education that's I think that's Haley Bailey Hush, this is our favorite song oh y'all I'm tired this is one of my favorite gospel songs. I love Clark Sisters. So, the, I, I have the ending of this song, which is about five minutes on a CD. This is me playing it through YouTube. So, doing, doing the total, towards the end of the song, um, I think it's what Dorinda was singing through the storm I made it and so JB was like through the storm what does that mean and so I have to break it down for him because he's just a baby what it means to still praise God and the storm matter of fact you should be thanking God and praising God when you're at that low at your lowest because that's when you grow the most in your walk with Jesus Christ okay. Amen. he don't want to hear your praises when everything is going good girl when things are going bad, when you're sick, when, you, when you're feeling lonely, that's when you should be praising God and thanking God and going to God. Alright, let's get into the store.